And before we start executing things on the compute nodes, we actually have to set up our Slurm batch files so that uh, they instruct the supercomputer as to exactly what we need to execute. So let's work on that next. So here I am uh, within module two supercomputer. You'll notice that there are two batch files. Um, we've discussed the contents of them to some degree already, um, but we need to make sure that things are uh, set up properly. Actually, before we Emacs, let's make sure we remember that directory. So I'm going to copy that. Uh, so we have that late for later. Okay, so so this is a a program in and of itself. It actually executes inside of Bash, uh, but it has a whole bunch of other metadata that is used by Slurm itself. And we need to make sure that we walk through this and edit as uh, necessary. Um, first off, we have to specify what partition we want to use. Uh, in this case, we are asking to put it in the debug five minute partition. Um, as we talked about before, by putting it here, again, this is a debugging process, uh, but uh, our execution time is going to be super short. Uh, so as we're doing our testing, it's appropriate to use that debug queue. Our jobs are gonna get picked up really quick when we do this. Number of tasks uh, is one. There, you really don't need to change that at all. How much memory you need here, we're asking for one gigabyte of memory. And, uh, and then uh, these two pieces here, output and error, um, this, uh, this is where information from our, uh, from our standard out and standard error are getting routed to. So before, when we were testing at the command line, we saw things getting printed out. Um, now that information is going to be sent to two different text files. One is standard out, the other is standard error. The percent %j here, that'll get changed to whatever our job number is on the on, in the supercomputer queue. We'll, we'll take a look at that in a moment. Um, the amount of time that we're asking for here, we are asking for just two minutes. Job name, this can be anything. Um, for, um, for the mail user, this is your email address. Do not put my email address in here. I will not be happy. But I'm going to have to put something in here to make Slurm happy. Mail type all means you should be getting all. If, if things complete, fine, you'll get email. If there's an error during execution, uh, you will also get uh, email with at least some information, although it can be pretty cryptic. Finally, change dir, this means change the directory to this directory within your, usually your home space before execution starts. And that's why I uh, copied our uh, directory before. So my mine happens to be home, fag, deep learning practice, skeletons, et cetera. Uh, if you fail to set this to something that actually exists, then your experiment will just fail without really much uh, explanation. You might get something useful in email. You might just get something that says program failed. So this is actually one of the places where you want to make sure that you, you get that right. We're going we're gonna to keep these in this line in place for testing purposes here, but then we'll actually uh, make, uh, make some changes. Well, actually, I'll, I'll make a change here in a moment. But first, um, this actually gets executed by the bash shell. Um, this ensures that you know your, your uh, bash shell knows where my Python uh, configuration is. And then there's our conda activate TF, uh, the TensorFlow Python environment that I've set up for you. And then this is the program that actually gets executed. Um, for testing purposes, I am just going to set this to, let's see. I'm going to set this to uh, to no go, and we'll we'll test this first, and uh, see how uh, how it uh, works first, and then then we'll make changes. All right. So once we're done there, um, by the way, the pound sign here. This is just a means it's a comment. It's ignored during execution, um, except when you have a pound s batch, then Slurm tries to interpret that. Okay. So I'm going to save that. Um, 
if you look at the batch file as it has come in, you'll notice that it is executable um, by me. And in your case, it would be by you, that X there means executable. Um, if you have to change a file over to being executable, it's change mod. Um, you can you, uh, you can say O plus X means owner plus X batch.sh. Um, and that, that will change it if it isn't already set. But what this allows us to do is, again, we're going to do a quick uh, test to see uh, whether or not this is working properly. So batch.sh, um, it will ignore all the slurm commands uh, and just go through the, the process of executing what, uh, what was down at the very bottom. And you can see it, it actually executed without error. So we're probably about set to, to do our uh, task, our next test, and uh, we're going to pick that up in the next video.